Yep. Don't mind my frizzy hair. I'm like totally rocking. 80s hair today it's raining outside it's dark i'm probably hella overexposed but if i don't overexpose myself then my background is gonna be really dark i don't like that i don't know why it's just a pet peeve of mine and it bugs me but we're gonna i'm gonna not we just me it's just me here i'm gonna get ready and uh y'all are gonna sit and watch me i feel like i haven't gotten the chance to like sit and talk to you guys I have been so busy lately because I'm so sorry I missed Saturday's video. I'm so sorry. I need to get back on track and like find some other way of communicating with you guys other than YouTube. Have you guys seen like, do you know about this whole like community board or something on YouTube? Like supposedly there's like something that you can like turn on YouTube and then you can like post it's like Facebook. Like, you can pretty much post shit on YouTube. Have you guys, or do you guys notice how my camera is still shaking because I still haven't moved it? I'm too lazy to move it. Anyways, the thingy on YouTube. Do you guys know how to turn that on? If you know how to turn it on, let me know. And I don't know if it's just for, like, big YouTubers or something like that because I remember hearing Rob Beauty Christie talk about it, and she was like uh community board blah 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 and i didn't get accepted for it or something like that i don't know what it was but i was like what is that i just need to get on my computer i've just been so busy you guys i'm gonna use the soft clam i'm gonna do my eyes first today did i already say that did i already say i was gonna do my eyes first today i don't know what's wrong with me but for some reason i cannot just like jump in front of the camera and start filming uh it i don't know what it is and right now i'm like really I'm gonna tell y'all a little secret, okay? And all you bitches out there that are like, I told you so, I told you so, I don't wanna hear bitch, I don't wanna hear it. I, ATM, at this moment, am not the happiest with my Botox. I mean, my forehead looks like glass and I'm living for it. I love it, I love how smooth my forehead is. But literally, you guys, okay, so when I did the vlog and I was about five, Five or six days in, I'm spitting all over the place. So I'm getting real, real amped about this. Uh, when I was about five or six days in, okay, I had this like W <laughs> on my forehead, like a Wonder Woman emblem. And I was living for the Wonder Woman, Woman emblem. I was down for it. I was okay with it. I was like, yes, I can fucks with that. When I raise my eyebrows, there's a Wonder Woman. <laughs> I can't even talk today. When I raise my eyebrows, there's a Wonder Woman stamp on my head. I'm down with it. I fucks with it. Nobody gonna notice. But now, literally, look. This right here is all the movement I have in my eyebrows. And it's like a little bit upsetting a little bit. And I know like a lot of times that happens and it'll fizzle out in a couple of weeks. Because when you are on, as far as Botox goes, when you are on like a, your first like week and a half up until about three weeks, it's like it's most potent you know what I mean it's the strongest and then it slowly starts to taper down uh, so I know in like two or three weeks it'll fizzle out a little bit but the problem is is it's like so hard to do my makeup because my eyes are hooded and I can't lift my motherfucking eyebrows up I have no expression in my face right now I'm surprised I'm sad I'm happy like it all looks the same so lately I have been doing my eyeshadow first so I can do like this so I literally have to like lift my eye up like this to do my makeup and it's driving me fucking nuts and I'm just a little perturbed about it but I still like my Botox don't get me wrong I still like it I think I just forgot <laughs> how hooded my eyes get in the first couple of weeks you know what I'm saying but I'll still do it all day long I probably will go to another doctor though just because I feel like my doctor just, he just he's a little, a little bit out of hand a little bit. I think he got a little bit too, you know, what are they called? A little too inject happy, inject injection happy, injectable happy. Can you guys hear the rain outside? It's literally thunderstorming outside. Yesterday it snowed like three inches. What is life right now? I cannot stand being in Ohio right now. It's literally driving me nuts. So, since I haven't talked to you guys in so long, um, 
I'm just going to do my makeup instead of telling you everything that I use. And I'll either put it here on the screen or I will uh, list it below. Um, and, you know, where I always put my little links at. Y'all know I make like a penny every time somebody <laughs> clicks on one of my links. I don't even know why I do it. Like it takes so fucking long to do. It takes so much time to link everything. And I know it helps you guys out a lot because if you want something, you can just like go snatch it up. But at the end of the day, it takes me like an hour to put all those fucking links down there because I have to like go through my magic links thing and then search for the links and then um, like link it up to magic links and then you know copy the link and then put it down there or whatever else uh but it just it, it takes forever and i don't make that much money off of it i've like been thinking lately like is it worth it do you guys like the links down there let me know in the comments that's what we'll do do you like the links um that i put down in the click down and does it help you out is it worth that for me to do if you guys want me to still link them i totally will but if you could like give two fucks then i probably won't do it anymore i'll just like list the stuff i just don't make enough money for it to be worth it like i've had a magic link account and or magic links account and i have been using magic links for two years now i think almost two years probably well maybe like a year year and a half and y'all i've made less than a hundred dollars let's just put it that way on um linking stuff in all the videos you know i upload three videos a week and every single one of those videos has clickable links down there i've literally made less than a hundred dollars doing that so in an entire year i made less than a hundred dollars this is crazy girl so um bro's birthday was saturday and i'm kind of a little bit sad a little bit because did i tell you guys i was using the soft clam i'm using the soft clam um i'm a little bit sad because he's fucking 13 years old and his birthday was like very underwhelming so we were supposed to go to scene 75 which is like one of our favorite places i don't know if you guys like have a scene 75 where you're at it was just in dayton as far as i knew to my knowledge it only resided in dayton and now, um, I guess there's like one in Indiana. I think there's another one in Ohio. They might be like all over now, but I'm pretty sure it started in Dayton. It's basically like an indoor um, David Buster's slash Chuck E. Cheese slash uh, go kart racing slash play games, get tickets, win stuff type deal. You know what I'm saying? So it's like an indoor one of those. And we go quite a few times a year. We usually go and like stay in Dayton and then we'll go to scene 75 and like go to the green and stuff like that. So we were supposed to go to scene 75. Um, he was supposed to have this little friend of his go with us. This little friend of his that always comes, you know, just his friend. I don't know why I feel the need to explain who the fuck his friend is because you guys don't care and it doesn't matter. Um, so his friend was supposed to come with us. And then at the last minute, his friend's like, oh yeah, by the way, um, I can't go because we had a family thing come up, which I'm assuming because Easter was Sunday and Aiden's birthday was on Saturday. So I'm assuming that he probably had some kind of Easter thing because at first his parents were like, oh yeah, he can go. Um, Cause he's come with us like a few times on things. Like he's come with us to the beach and he's come to Aiden's birthday before. So they were like, oh yeah, he can go, no big, you know what I'm saying? Um, but then at the last minute, he kind of dipped out and I think it's, they probably just had some kind of family thing or something come up for Easter. So he was bummed out and we were like, do you still want to go? Or, cause he wanted to have somebody to like run around with and like do shit with, you know what I mean? So we were like, do you still want to go or nah? Because I told him, we can just go bowling or something, and then when your little friend is allowed to go, then we'll, you know, do the do, and we'll go on another date, NBD, right? Um, so he was like, yeah, I'd rather have somebody to, like, hang out with. That He goes, that's not a relative or one of you guys. I'm not saying I don't like hanging out with you guys. We're like, we know, bro. We know. We get it. You just want, like, a friend. So, um we decided to go bowling instead. And 
we, it was just me, Tim, obviously, me and Tim, um, my mom and her boyfriend and Tim's mom. And it was just so underwhelming because every other year we've always had birthday parties for him. And we always kind of make a big to do over bro's birthday. And this year, since he's 13, we're like, maybe we should just like keep it low key. You know what I'm saying? Like even when we would keep it low key before, we would take him to like a hotel or like, I don't know. It just seemed like he didn't get to do that much for his birthday this year just because of like Easter being before and this was his first birthday without his grandpa and you know it's been kind of crazy because there's been so many birthdays and holidays and stuff that um have come up over the past I don't know like past month or two and they're also not only just those birthdays and holidays, but they're all the birthdays and holidays that are the first ones without Tim's dad there. So they're all kind of weird and like, you know, you know what I mean? They're just kind of weird and awkward because he's not there. And then, you know, we try not to make it sad, but in the same regard, it, it is kind of sad. So it's just been kind of weird. And I've been hella busy doing what? I don't know. I've, I've come to the conclusion that time in the universe is against me <laughs> like I don't know what it is I know what it is I sit here and fuck around that's what it is just like today like it's almost fucking 12 o'clock and I literally um started to get ready to film at like nine o'clock this morning 8 30 probably if I'm being real fucking honest I don't know what it is about me that I can't just jump in front of the camera and fucking do the do and get the shit done it's like I do all this other things and stuff and I sit there and I fuck off for like three hours and then I don't get it done and then I get pissed at myself because it's like oh shit now I gotta go pick bro up from school and I don't have time to do what I was gonna do you know what I mean Anyways, so that is what I've been up to. Did I already say I was sorry that I didn't have Saturday's video up? Because I am. I'm so sorry that Saturday's video wasn't up. I swear to glob from this point on, there will be scheduled videos. It just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just fucking am like, why can't I manage my time? I think I'm going to get one of those little books and like, literally time my hours out because I need some more organization in my life. How many times have you guys heard this from me? Like literally just walking do it. I've been trying to listen to Tony Robbins and um, see if, you know, the big T can give me like some pointers and shit on being a little bit more um, organized and like, what's it called? Like time conscious, conscious time conscious is that what it is I don't know but anyways so um yeah so Aiden's birthday was a little bit underwhelming and I was a little bit sad about it because he's 13 years old and I have a teenager now and I'm like oh my god what the fuck where the fuck did time go sometimes I look at him and can't believe that I even have a kid let alone a teenager now it's just it's crazy girl it's crazy so um Wow, super fucking inventive look, Nikki. Way to step outside of the box and like do something that nobody else is doing. Like a warm, smoky eye. Way to go. I think I'm going to use this steel glitter. I'm not going to tell you what I'm using. I'll just put it in the click down. I don't know if I want to. No, I don't want to use this because I'm going to the gym tonight. Whenever I use these glitters and go to the gym, they like fall all over my face and they get my eyeballs and stuff because I sweat and shit. What do I want to put on my lids? Do I want to put something from the Swift Clam? Yeah, I think I'm just going to put that fairy color on my lids. Why not? Let's just do it. Let's fucking get crazy. I'm going to use this brush that I think this came in like a boxy charm. The Vintage Cosmetic Company. Should I use that or glistening? You know what? I will say there is one thing I will say about this Swift Clam palette is that the color glistening... The color glistening is in also the Amrezy palette by Anastasia, and it is not the same. Like, the glistening color, I, that's too dark. I want something, like, bright on my lids because you can't see my fucking lids. So I need something bright on there. Can't see them because of my Botox. Um, I'm just going to use this, like, Sofax palette. 
Can you guys tell I've had a fuck ton of coffee today? Like, I went over my limits today, girl. I had a little bit too much coffee. <laughs> oh, yes. That's more like it. So, anyways. um, Yeah. So, I don't know. It's just going to get worse and worse. But where I was going with that, I was leading to the fact that um, even though... Aiden's birthday was a little bit underwhelming because we didn't spend as much money, um, you know, taking him somewhere, going to a hotel or anything like that. We got him a go-kart and it's fucking dope. Oh my God. It's so dope. The thing that sucks is he's only got to drive it since his birthday. His birthday was Saturday and today is Tuesday. He's only gotten to drive it once. Um, since he got it because it fucking snowed on Sunday it's fucking raining today it snowed on Sunday or Monday either snowed Sunday or Monday it's fucking raining today like come on Ohio give me some fucking weather I can fuck with I really like this Sofax palette I don't know if you guys have tried this yet but the highlighters in here are really good I don't I think I said in my haul I don't like the ones like look weird because I think they're like baked or something. I'm sure if you wet them, they would be okay. But they're just like, if you look at that compared to like this one, you see how the lighter one is just, okay, it doesn't look like it in that light. But it seems like this one, this one, and this one are just a lot more sheeny than what the other ones are. Like I need to darken. It's so hard to get my eyes even, you guys. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys can tell. Maybe you can't because, you know, you don't see me every day. But the eyes, dude, motherfucker, just went crazy with that Botox. It's like driving me nuts because, and especially, like, this eye here is always, always, forever, since I was born, been, not since I was born, since I got into a car accident when I was younger. Um, I got into a car accident when I was younger. I have a scar on this eye right here. So it's always more hooded than what this eye is. Um, and especially when I get Botox, it makes it look like my Botox is uneven and it's not. It's just that this eye is just because of that scar there, just so much more hooded. Oh my God, it just drives me nuts. You guys, I'm not having a good week. I'm really rolling off hasn't been that bad I'm lying it has been a good week um with birthdays and stuff I'm not having a good YouTube week though videos from here on out will be scheduled I promise you guys I promise and if they're not I will find some way of letting you guys know I still haven't gotten on snapchat lately and the reason why I haven't gotten on snapchat is because I just don't think about it like I always think about all the shit that I want to tell you guys and like talk to you guys about and I always fucking forget about snapchat because I haven't been on there in so long um even like after I filmed my last video so like last Tuesday after I filmed my last bout of videos this is so hard to do my makeup right now because I'm just not used to like this shape of eye and it's like driving me crazy because I'm like how do I do my makeup it's like so hard to like you basically have to, you have a new eye shape, so you have to like configure your makeup kind of to your new eye shape. Because I don't only have hooded eyes, but I have deep set eyes. So a lot of times I'll do my makeup. Um, what's the word I wanna use? I do my makeup kind of marketed, I guess, directed around my hooded eyes and my deep set eyes, but now that they're so hooded, it's like I have to do them a little bit different. But anyways, um, what was I talking about? I've had so much fucking coffee today that I'm just like on a fucking roll, girl. On a fucking roll. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, I was talking about getting back to my schedule. I promise you guys I'll get back to my schedule. I know I only miss one video, but even when I miss one video, it makes me feel bad. And it makes me feel bad because I haven't had time um to like answer your guys's comments like i usually do and y'all know that's like my favorite part i love answering your guys comments i love talking to you guys in the comment box i love um interacting with you guys i have a lot of engagement on my videos because i love it so much i love it so much should i do like mascara and shit right now or should i just wait till after my foundation 
What should I do? I think I'll just wait. I'll do my foundation and then I'll do the rest and then I'll do concealer. Yes, that's what we'll do. But anyways, I mean, I know I'm like not out here like motherfucking Jaclyn Hill posting one video a month and shit, but it still makes me feel bad. It makes me feel bad that, you know, I've just, I, I've just been too busy for YouTube lately, basically is what it boils down to. And I like literally just got a text <laughs> from uh, my manager at work like, hey, wanna come work today? Sorry, Candace, but I can't. I got YouTube videos to film. Today's my filming day. Tuesdays are always my filming day. I wish I could change it to Monday. I think what I'm gonna try to do, cause usually on Mondays, I'll like clean my house and get all that shit together. Um, do laundry and all that and then on Tuesdays is when I film but because my uploading schedule starts on Tuesdays a lot of times my videos don't go up till like real late at night so I'm thinking about trying to switch that out and make Mondays my filming days maybe I'm not sure um, make Mondays my filming days and then Tuesday I can upload a little bit sooner. You guys are always like so fucking cool. You're always like, we don't care as long as it's there. But I do need to like really step up my motherfucking engagement. It's just, I think what it was is I just got so used to like not being youtube -y when all that shit happened with Tim's dad that I got out of the habit of like engaging with you guys. Do you know what I mean? Like I got out of the habit of like posting things on Instagram, not that I did that a lot, and like talking to you guys on Twitter, not that I did that a lot, <laughs> or even just answering comments or going on Snapchat especially. Um, Cause I was on fucking Snapchat like every day. A lot of you guys were like, bitch, I fucking turn your Snapchat on and I like do my dishes or I clean my house and just listen to your Snapchat because they were so fucking long. Um, and I do want to get back to that again. It's just hard because it's like I got, like I said, I got out of that habit and now I'm like trying to get into that habit again. You know what I mean? And even still, like, I don't know. It almost feels like you're talking to new people or something. I don't know. It's fucking weird. It's hard to explain. I'm going to put a couple of drops of oil on my um, beauty blender because it feels like anything I fucking put on my face lately is my skin just sucks it right in. So we'll see if this works. I seen Amrezy do this and her fucking skin always looks so amazing. I know it's like filled and Botoxed like to the nines, but still. So anyways, uh, what else did I want to, oh my God, did I mention that? I don't think I did. You guys, I'm getting a new camera. I'm so fucking excited. Okay, so here's the thing. My camera that I have right now is a full frame camera. I don't know if this is boring to some of you guys. Um, God, dude, what is up with my hair? Should I just put it up? Should I just put my hair up? Cause it, I mean, it's like really driving me fucking nuts. Let me see, let's see. Should I just put it up? Mm, ooh, I don't know, girl, maybe not. <laughs> let's put some little baby hair style, see what that looks like. Let me move my hand up. I don't know. I just am like not digging my hair lately. Oh, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about too is my hair. Should I just put it up? I feel like my hair looks better up. So no, we'll just leave it down for now. Oh my God. <gasps> Look at it. It looks so bad. What the hell? Oh my God. Okay. Should we just put it up? Okay. No, let's leave it down. I told you guys I've had way too much coffee this morning. Back to the camera. Um, okay, so sorry if this is boring for some of you guys. Just motherfucking fast forward, girl. You had that option. That is an option. Um, so I use a full frame camera because I use it for photography too. I have not done photography in a really long time. And it makes me sad that I just, I don't know what it is. But over the past like year or so, I've just really gotten out of doing things for myself. And it, it's like I've spent so much time like trying to get my house to look good or taking care of my dogs or doing things with or for bro or Tim that I feel like I just let my hobbies kind of go on the back burner. And 
I really want to get back into photography because I'm a really fucking good photographer and I can take really fucking good pictures of myself. Like I know that sounds ridiculous, but I really can. Um, and I see all these people on Instagram and I think like I could fucking do that. Why am I not doing that? Why am I not taking the time to do that? I don't know what it is, but it's like time just gets away from me and I, do, I don't know what I do. I don't know what I do all day. I think it's just because I fuck off and I put things off and I procrastinate so much. I really want to get out of that and like really, this eye is, feels like it's not blended very well. I just really want to get out of that and get back into things that I like doing. Hold on, my camera's about to shut off. BRB. So sorry. <sighs> Dude, this hair dough. And then it's like, I don't even want to do anything with it because I know I'm going to the gym tonight and I know I'm going to like go outside in the rain and it's just going to get all fucked up again. But anyways, um, I just really want to get back to like doing things I like doing um, versus, you know, sitting on my ass and doing nothing. Basically. Basically. So, I'm getting a new camera. I'm so fucking excited. So... I have a full frame camera. If you don't know what a full frame camera is, it's basically when you use a standard camera. So you use a standard DSLR. Um, it has what's called a crop sensor, meaning when I look through the camera, it kind of cuts some of the picture off. And with a full frame camera, you get like a wider angle, basically. Like you get a wider range of view. So I like to use full frame cameras because they're just better for photography and they're just better in general, okay? I won't go too much into detail so I don't bore you guys. Um, they're just a lot better for photography, they're better in general, whatever. Um, so I have a 6D right now and I just, I haven't, because I haven't like been into photography lately, I haven't been keeping up with photography. So I haven't really been in, I don't know which concealer I wanna use. Let me figure this out right quick. I went and got, remember from my haul, I got the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer and I have the shade 10 and I had one of you guys leave a comment and say there's actually a shade five too. So I was in work the other day and I just happened to like see this sitting out somewhere. It wasn't even in the right spot. And I was like, oh shit, there is a shade five. It's called Light Natural. So I have this. Or I have the Lorac concealer, which I'm still kind of testing out. Still don't know if I recommend it yet. Um, still don't know if I like it yet. There's this, and then the Instant Age Rewind, rewind the Instant Age Rewind, the Instant Age Rewind concealers came out with a broader shade range. So this is lighter because what was it? What was the lightest one? Just fair, I think it was called. This one is ivory and it's lighter than fair and it's also more yellow tone than fair. I don't know which one to use though. Which one should I use? Which one should I use? I think I'm gonna use this one because this is like an oldie but a goodie and I haven't really used it. I've just put it out to like try it out on my skin but I think it'll, it might highlight. So let's try it on a chin first. But anyway, um, so because, oh yeah, that'll, that's good, that's good. So because I haven't, um, really been doing a lot of things photographically 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 okay because I haven't really been doing things photographically um I haven't really been keeping up on lenses like new lenses that come out I mean I used to be so fucking into it I would be like on the photography websites every day and what's that somebody that I'm gonna I think my dog just got up. I thought it was somebody knocking on my door. I was like, what the fuck? Nobody ever comes to my house. Anyways, um, because I haven't been, or I used to be on the photography websites and you know, I would peep out all the new cameras that were coming out and I peep out all the new lenses and shit. But because I haven't really been into it much lately, um, I haven't really been like seeing what new cameras are coming out or seeing what new lenses are coming out or whatever. And I've honestly been looking into getting a camera with autofocus. But as I said, I like a full frame camera and the only full frame, full frame, Jesus, it's just all bad today. I can't talk. 
The only full frame camera at the time that I was aware of was the, I think it was the Canon 5D Mark III. And that's a fucking like $3,500 camera, right? And I'm like, I am not buying a fucking $3,500 camera. I do plan on selling my 6D. Um, so maybe I want to buy a 6D. <laughs> Hit a bitch up. <laughs> Just kidding. Kind of. Anyways, um, I do plan on selling my 6D. So I thought I could probably sell my 6D for about a thousand. And then... I'll just put that money towards, you know, a new camera or just get a new camera in general, but I don't want to go without the full frame aspect of the camera. Well, I don't even know what the fuck I was doing, but I just, I think I was on Amazon or something and I saw like a suggested post and it said, uh, 6D Mark II. And I was like, 6D Mark II? I didn't even know there was like an upgrade to the camera that I had. I had no fucking clue, right? Because I haven't like really been looking into it lately. So I was like, wait, 6D Mark II? So then I Googled, does the 6D Mark II have autofocus? And it does! I'm so fucking excited. I can't contain it. I'm so happy that it has fucking autofocus. So I'm gonna get a 6D Mark II. I almost, almost got one yesterday because, um, Jesus, can you guys hear that thunder? Oh my God. It's like thundering like crazy. My dogs will not fucking go out. Stubby keeps coming up here and he's like, let me the fuck out. And then when I go open the back door and I try to put the chain on, he's like, no, fuck that mom. It's raining out. I don't want to go out. And then Hoy, this is why they don't, I'll get back to the story in a second. This is why they don't want to go out because I have booties for my dogs, okay? They're little silicone galoches. My dogs have galoches and they're so cute. And they're like little neon la 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 la. And then I told you guys, did it? Words, they're not my friend today. Little neon galoches for my dogs because my backyard is one big entire swamp. It's like very uneven and like not like cool yardy it's like very swampy and rainy and gross so i went to petco and i was like oh my god they have galoshes for the dogs this would be perfect because whenever they come in from the outside we keep a towel by our back door because whenever they come in from the outside they're like a fucking muddy mess and there's mud all up in their little webs and all under their nails and shit and we have to sit there with a towel and like wash it off and i have this um what's it called burt's bees like shampoo-less, not shampoo-less, waterless wash. I spray on their feet, wash their feet off, and it's, it's a big deal. It's, it's kind of an ordeal doing that, letting the dogs out and then doing all this, right? So I seen these galoshes, I was like, oh my God, yes, they have galoshes. I'm gonna use this Jordana. I've been really digging this Jordana um, Sculpt and Glow contour stick lately. Anyways, um, where was I? Oh yeah, so I was like, uh oh my god i'm so excited about these galoshes and the dogs like i put them on them and it's not like they don't try to rip them off you know what i mean like they're cool with it they step in there i kind of think they like them because they like go outside with them and then they come in and their feet aren't all fucked up and muddy because they really don't like getting all like nasty and muddy my dogs are total pusses so they have these galoshes and they don't like going out when it rains but when I put the galoshes on them to put them outside, when it's not raining, it's just muddy and wet, for some fucking reason, Hoyt will not shit outside when he has the galoshes on. Like, I don't know if he's afraid he's gonna shit in his galoshes or like what is going on with him and his little furry head, but it's pissing me off because he just shit in the house like right before I started filming and I'm like, dude, it's like every time it fucking rains, he shits in the house. It fucking pisses me off. But anyways, I just like don't do anything about it because like what am I going to do? You know, I'm like, what? And then he's like, what? I shit. I know. I'm sorry. He always gets this like, I'm sorry. Look on his face. Like fucking everybody says he looks like bubbles from <laughs> uh, what's it called? Trailer Park Boys. So I don't know. I don't know what uh, to do about it. So, I don't know why I went off on that tangent about the dog. I can't remember. 
But my dogs have galoshes and they're very, very cute. Maybe I'll pop up a picture at the end of their galoshes. Probably not. Maybe I'll put one on Instagram. Um, but anyways, so what was I talking about my camera? So I'm super stoked. I was going to get one from Midwest Photo Exchange, which is this huge camera store in Columbus. It's like, it's, it's a pretty well-known um, camera store. I think it's only in Columbus. I'm not positive. If I'm wrong about that, please correct me in the comments. But I was going to get one yesterday because Tim had to go to Columbus yesterday for work. But unfortunately, he was like, um, I really don't feel like going. <laughs> because where he had to go was like so far away from the camera store, he would have had to drive like another 25, 30 minutes to get to the camera store. And he's like, I am so sorry. I just don't feel like going. And normally, which was kind of weird, because I was like, that's okay. If you don't feel like going, no big deal, right? Um, and normally he would be like, oh yeah, I'll go get it, whatever you want. But yesterday he was like, I just don't feel like it. So I was like, okay, well today he's fucking sick. So he's like, that's like why I didn't feel like going to the camera store yesterday, because I just, I just didn't feel good. And he had, you know, just had to drive two hours to Columbus just to, for a stupid meeting or whatever. So he just wasn't feeling it, which I don't care. It's just in Columbus. He's like, I promise you we will go up like another day this week and you can get your camera. So hopefully by the time um, I film next week's videos, I'll have a new camera with autofocus and I'll be able to do this. And you'll see it and I'll be able to do this and you'll see it. It's going to be so cool. I'm so excited. I almost ordered it from this website because, okay, so I was getting online and comparing prices. I went on to Best Buy um, and I was like looking for my camera, right? So I go on to Best Buy and I find my camera and it's like $18.99. The normal price for this camera is like $19.99. Granted, um, I am going to be selling my camera, so it's going to make up for a lot of the price. So this camera is normally $19.99. It was on sale on Best Buy for $18.99, but I didn't get it because I'm a fucking idiot. I need to put highlighter on it. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just like going off on a tangent and like doing stuff to my face. I can't think about th two things at once and do two things at once. So anyways, what highlighter do I want to use? I took the Amrezy highlighter back because it just didn't work for me. I was like, it's too fucking dark. I like, you know, the idea behind it and I like the way it looks, but it's too dark. It just looked like gold on my face and I just couldn't fucks with it. I was like, no, I can't fucks with that dude. I'm just gonna have to use something else. So I'm gonna use this Sofax one. I really like this. Anyways, um, so, I'm on the internet and I'm trying to find um, deals for this camera. I'm obviously, I'm trying to fucking find it as cheap as possible. So when you're on the internet and you're trying to find something for as cheap as you possibly can, where do you go? Fucking eBay, right? Well, just to be real fucking honest with you guys, uh, my eBay account may or may not be a suspender right now. <laughs> Because years ago, like a lot of years ago, um, I sold a camera on eBay. Oh, I got to thank me. Okay. Um, years ago, a lot of years ago, I sold a camera on eBay. And at the time, we didn't have a lot of money. And I, if you've ever sold anything on eBay, then you know when you go on eBay to sell something, you like sell your shit and then there's eBay fees outside of like selling it right but like you don't have to pay the ebay fees right away like you pay them afterwards so i sell this camera this like full frame camera that i had gotten um on ebay <laughs> and i sold it in order to buy other stuff to like buy a lens or something like that so i sell this camera and i get like eight or nine hundred dollars for it and at the time, we didn't have a lot of money. So my eBay fees were like 200 and some dollars, right? And I may or may not have like just dipped out on my eBay fees. So my account suspended. <laughs> so I can't buy it off eBay, basically, is what it boils down to. Because my account is suspended. I could probably use, you know, somebody else's account. But I'm always so scared to make like that 
big of a purchase on eBay because I always feel like I'm going to get fucked over. I've never gotten fucked over on eBay before. Um, I used to be on eBay for years and years and years. I would actually go to the thrift store and I would go to our local thrift store on dollar bag day. So Saturdays used to be dollar bag day and I would go and I would buy all this shit and then I would piece outfits together and then I would go sell them on eBay. So something I paid a dollar for, I normally would in turn make between 50 and a hundred dollars on. So I used to make a lot of money on eBay. Um, and I, I was like, I knew about the fees, but I just, I just didn't want to pay the fucking fees. Look at this highlighter. Isn't it pretty? It's just like so nice. I don't know why people aren't talking about this highlighting palette because it's so good. I just like can't stop putting it on because it just looks so good on skin. It like doesn't emphasize texture. It just looks so nice and sheeny and I love it. Anyways, okay, I need to stop with my highlighter. Um, so I sell this camera. I had like $200 in eBay fees. May or may not have paid them. And to this day, like, I have the money to pay him now, but I don't know how. I don't know how to, like, get on there and pay him because whenever I go to sign in, it's like, your account is suspended. And that's it. It, like, doesn't give you any, like, oh, here, go here and figure out how you can get your account unsuspended. Or it doesn't do any of that. It just fucking suspends your account. I guess, oh, hi, Tubba. I guess I could make an account and do it but I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do but it's like I'm just scared I, I guess I'm just scared I'm just scared to order it off eBay because I just don't want to get fucked over and I feel like I'm like putting that vibe out into the world now so I feel like if I do order it on eBay then I'm so scared of getting fucked over I'm gonna get fucked over you know what I mean so I don't know. What do you guys think? I think I'm just going to order it off of Midwest because I can drive up there and grab it real quick. Maybe I'll go up there like Friday, Thursday or Friday or something because I'm off work all this week. I got shit going on. I don't think I have shit going on Thursday. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm getting a new camera. I'm so fucking excited about it. I can't fucking wait to have autofocus it's gonna be so fucking nice i can even use it as a vlogging camera it's gonna be amazing i love it so much i'm so excited i watched um fronos fronos photo do you guys ever watch him if you know nothing about photography and you want to get into photography you should totally watch fronos photo he is amazing he explains everything very laymanly if that's a word like he explains everything in layman's terms and i went um and watched a video of his reviewing the 6d mark ii and on a photography standpoint yeah it kind of sucks because the focal points on it um he said they basically used the focal points of a crop center can't uh, <laughs> He said they basically used the focal points of a crop sensor camera on a full frame, which sucks, but I can still use it. Like I'm gonna be primarily using it for video. So that's fucking dope. I'm so excited about it. I can't tell you how fucking excited about it. I actually am, but I am. Let me do the tight line thing real quick. BRB. Okie dokes. We're all tight lined and ready. I can't fucking take my, oh my god, when I look in the viewfinder though, or in my monitor, I can't take my hair today. It's so frizzy and gross. The thing that sucks about my hair is my hair is super thin, but it's also coarse, but it's only coarse on the bottoms. And it's not because of bleach. It's, it's always like that. Like no matter what color, even when my hair was black, it was like frizzy and coarse feeling at the bottoms, but at the top, it's just like normal hair. I don't know, it's fucked up, it drives me nuts. But I don't know what to do with it. Like I kinda wanna cut it to like right here, but I also wanna dye it. I've got so many fucking, I don't know if you guys, you're not gonna be able to see on camera cause I put so much motherfucking root spray up in this bitch. Can you, oh yeah, I guess you can kind of see. So do you see like my natural hair and then this like warmer that's going into the ombre or the balayage? 
So this warmer color, I don't want and I don't like. I wanted my rootage to be the color of my natural color, which is up here, which is like a level seven, but it's a very ashy level seven. Um, so long story short, I think I'm gonna put some more bleach in it. But I realize if I put more bleach in it, I'm gonna have to cut it because it's just gonna fry. So I think I can get away with like maybe just putting bleach in it and not using heat because that's what I did with this. And maybe it won't, you know, be like unwearable. There's so, it just scares me because there's like two or three girls at work that tried to bleach their fucking hair and it burnt off. And one of them, two of them actually went to professionals. So I'm like, oh girl, the one girl, I feel so fucking bad for her. Her hair just like completely burnt off. The poor thing. I said, girl, you should have waited. Do you know how long it took me to get blonde hair? It took me two years. Because she had black hair like I did. Jet fucking black hair, just like me. And it took her like two sittings to go to blonde. I said, girl, it took me two years to go to blonde. She's like, I know. I wish I would have just done it like you did. Um, but she had to do it for like a hair show or whatever because she goes to the beauty college. Let me put these lashes on real quick. BRB. Okay, we got the lanches on. I'm still fucking with my head. That was stubby. Don't mind him. He thinks he wants to go outside, but I know as soon as I take him downstairs, he's not going to want to. These are the, I keep wanting to say Sylvia Brown. I lore Jasmine Brown lashes. Dude, I have worn these fucking lashes. I've probably worn these lashes eight times. Like my Salon Perfect 615s, I can get barely two uses out of. I have worn these literally for the past two weeks ever since that haul every lash you see me in is this lash and they have lasted that long they're looking a little wonky at this point but like damn those are some good lashes you go sylvia brown not sylvia brown jasmine brown you go jasmine brown these are some good lashes i walk up a lot okay i don't know what i was talking about before i got off the phone but I'm super excited because I was talking to Tim. Tim called me while I was putting my lashes on. And I think Friday we're going to go get my camera. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We're going to go get my camera. I'm so excited. So hopefully um, on into next week's videos, I'll have autofocus. That's going to be so dope. So fucking dope. I cannot fucking wait. I'm so excited. I don't know what to put on my lips. That's how excited I am that I don't know what to put on my lips. And I didn't highlight my inner corner. What kind of beauty guru am I? Jesus. You guys know you can't be an official beauty guru without highlighting your inner corner, right? Where's my fucking brush? I'm just going to use this little concealer brush and go into this little... Sofex palette and do it up right there, do it right there, do it right there. Dude, I don't know what it is. I think it is. I said, dude, I don't know what it is. I think it is before I even uh, explain myself. So lately, because I have Botox, um, I haven't really been doing all the skincare. Normally for my skincare, I just use, where is it? Where's it at? 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 Where the fuck is it? Oh, I have been using the Mario Badescu Ginseng Moist Cream um, just because it's what I have around. And I use, I think it was in my haul, some oil that I got from TJ Maxx. Maybe it wasn't in my haul. I don't remember. But I got just like a random facial oil from TJ Maxx, right? Um, and it, it's been okay. My face has been totally dry because I'm too fucking lazy to come upstairs and get this Mario Badescu cream. Because I always put that on um, before I put my foundation on. Or maybe it was the oil. Because goddamn, Moss just looking good. Maybe it's because I just used my Bobbi Brown. Because I, just because it's like, I mean, I guess you can't tell on camera. But it's a hair dark on me. Um, but because I have been mixing that with other stuff, I feel like... I don't know. I just feel like my skin lately has looked like shit. I don't know what it is. So because I'm too lazy to buy a moisturizer or because I keep forgetting when I go to work, I have been using my Lush Rose Argan Body Conditioner on my face piece. And um, 
when I wake up in the morning, my skin looks fucking amazing. Just throwing that out there. Not saying you should go buy a $34 tub of body conditioner in shower body moisturizer to slather on your face. But I feel like because it has all this good shit in it, it's like doing good things to my skin, girl. Um, but I need to get me some skincare. Leave me skincare recommendations in the comments below. A lot of you guys asked in, what was it? Just my, um, the video where I had my hair up and it was kind of down, but up, but down. And I had like a little lacy thing and a little thing. Uh, a lot of you guys were asking what was on my lips and it was this, the Makeup Forever, what it, the fuck is it? <laughs> Artist Plexiglass in the, in the color 202. That's what was on my lips. I don't want to put that on my lips today because I just had that on in another video. What should I put on my lips today? What should I put on my lips today? Okay, I'm done getting ready. I need to stop. <laughs> I gotta quit. Okay, so if you guys are curious what I used, it was this Plexiglass in 202 by Makeup Forever and then that Tarte Delish uh, lip paint or whatever. I just put a little bit of it on. Maybe I need some more. I told you guys I need to stop, girl. I just need to stop. There we go. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, bitch. That's good. Leave it alone. It's like I look at it in the mirror and I'm like, oh yeah, I can fuck with that. And then I look at it on the monitor and I'm like, that doesn't look good. Can you guys hear that fucking thunder? My God. Okay. I'm done getting ready. So I'm going to go. So that's it. I fucking talked your ear off. Jesus. I've been sitting here talking for an hour and a half. So I'm going to make an attempt to edit this down. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I need to stop. I got to let Tub out. You know, you ain't going to go out. Why you like, like you won't go out? You ain't going to go out. He's not gonna go out. I'm gonna take him downstairs. I'm gonna open the door and he's gonna be like, oh, sit, it's raining. I can't go off if it's raining. So anyway, I'm gonna go. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you have not. Do not forget to hit the notification bell. I didn't put that in on purpose. Um, Where was I? Okay, I'm gonna go. Sorry, I just got a text message. It totally fucking threw me off. So I need to stop. I'm gonna go. This is fine. It's fine. I'll probably change it before I film my next video, but whatever. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you have not. Do not forget to hit the bell notification because you won't see my videos. If you don't get notified, you won't see my videos. I know that sounds fucking stupid, but I promise you, my videos won't show up in your feed. A lot of people's videos aren't showing up in my feed. So, what what do I say after that? I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace. Too much coffee today. Why can't I die? Brush, where's my brush? 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 Just, what am I talking about? Where is my... Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't fucking stand myself right now. I cannot stand myself right now. Oh yes, yes I will go to Cosmo at 3. Thank you!